Storms to precede welcome break from stifling heat, humidity this week across southern U.S. The same storm system that triggered severe thunderstorms in parts of the northeast on Monday will trigger violent storms in parts of the southeast on Tuesday ahead of a welcome push of pleasant, fall-like air. One more day of stifling heat and humidity will provide the fuel necessary for rapid thunderstorm development and intensification from southeastern Virginia to eastern parts of the Carolinas on Tuesday afternoon and evening. An unusually strong, by late July standards, pressing southward through the southeast will also help trigger the storms and signal a temporary end to the typical, summertime heat and humidity. Cities at risk for locally severe storms on Tuesday include Norfolk and Virginia Beach. Raleigh, Charlotte The main threats from Tuesday's storms will be strong wind gusts, heavy downpours and isolated incidents of flash flooding. Motorists traveling along Interstate 95 from Emporia, Virginia, to Savannah, Georgia, as well as on secondary roads, should be prepared for rapidly changing weather conditions and significant travel delays. Unfortunately, the storms are forecast to cross the I-95 corridor right around the time of the Tuesday afternoon commute when traffic is generally the heaviest. Be sure to slow down. Never drive through a flooded roadway. It is impossible, although much of the day may be rain-free along the outer banks of North Carolina and Grand Strand of South Carolina, the strong, gusty storms should reach the beaches around sunset and spoil many outdoor evening activities. Anybody planning on surfing or swimming in the Atlantic on Tuesday should keep in mind that, absent from any storms associated with the cold front, will stir up rough seas and create an enhanced threat for rip currents. By late Tuesday night and Wednesday morning, the cold front will push offshore and also force tropical depression 3 out to sea. In the wake of the front, an abnormally dry and comfortable air mass will settle into the southeast through the end of the week. High temperatures, with the exception of the Florida Peninsula, should generally be in the 80s from Wednesday through Friday, and comfortable humidity levels should cap AccuWeather real field temperatures to around 90 F. Low temperatures, especially away from coastal locations, are forecast to dip into the 50s and 60s, which will challenge or even break records in some cities. The fall-like air mass will create a perfect setting for outdoor activities such as picnics, barbecues, hiking, biking and golfing this week. In addition, cooling demands will decrease and allow residents to save some money on their cooling bills. Some residents' abundant sunshine will accompany the pleasant air, so residents should make sure to apply and reapply sunscreen if spending prolonged time outdoors in the sun. A return to the heat and humidity experienced this past week and during much of July so far is forecast to hold off until early next week, with only gradually increasing temperatures expected this weekend. The exception will be across the Florida Peninsula, where daily rounds of showers and thunderstorms are expected to accompany ongoing heat and humidity this week. For more details on temperature trends in your community, Keep checking back, search for location slash city.